Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel long time no see i know i'm sorry today i'm gonna be showing you guys the different ways i fill in my eyebrows i believe there's about four different ways that i like to do my eyebrows each of them has its own purpose so let's get right into the video okay i put a little headband on I look like an egghead. So starting off, my face is bare. I don't have anything on my face. These are the eyebrows that I I have. Realistically, whenever I do my makeup, I don't pluck them all the time, but they are semi-plucked. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna start from my most simplest type of eyebrows and I'm gonna go to the most darkest eyebrows and i'm not sure if i want to do a full face with it but we'll just see starting off with my most simplest brows what i like to do is first comb out my brows now this is going to consist of a spoolie what i like to do is just comb out my brows if i keep looking down it's because i have my mirror here marike <laughs> when i'm trying to just do something more natural or whatever and just be more on the like it's my eyebrows like they're just cleaned up like that i'll then go in with my foundation this is the, the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation this is what it looks like i'm in the shade 460 just for reference i'm like completely out of this but i just like to put like a dot on the lid then i'll grab my morphe times jaclyn hill brush it's just a flat brush and this is the brush that i use to carve out my brows what i like to do is just grab some and then i'll just go in and carve out how i want my brows to look like i said this is like my most natural look and then I'll go in with my finger and just kind of like, kind of blend out the edges. But I don't know if you can tell. It makes it look a little bit more cleaner. I like this for people that are not only trying to make their makeup look more natural, but also if you're like in a rush, right? And you don't have a lot of time or you're a mom or you work or you go to school or you just don't have time, but you want to look still a little bit put together. I love to do this. Cause I feel like it made it does, even though it it doesn't look like much, it's still a difference. Now I am doing the top part. I just like to go. I don't like to do like little swipes like this, cause I feel like that kind of ruins the whole point of it being like a a crisp brow, if that makes sense. Just go on top of my brow, and I'll just try to do one swipe i will go in and like kind of do this but i'm more so blending out the product I'm not sure if the camera is picking up any of this but i feel like you could see a slight difference i don't have brow gel but if you do have brow gel definitely add it into this um into your eyebrow routine if you want, I don't, just because I don't have it, but I do want to get my hands on it. Like right here, the brow gel would have definitely come in handy because I have like a bald spot there. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other side just so that you guys can get the full gist of the brows. And this is pretty much the brow complete. I honestly don't know if you could tell a difference but like i said if you have brow gel go ahead and do that i'd say do the brow gel first and then go ahead and carve out your brows but this is kind of like what i would do if i was in a rush and that is bugging me that is bugging me but that's really how i would do my brows if i were in a rush i'm gonna go ahead and take this off so we can start with brows number two. I'm gonna show you guys how to conceal with concealer. So what I like to do is dot 
just get the product on my skin and then go from there this is the elf hydrating camel concealer it is in the shade fair warm now that i have the concealer on my brow bones what i'm going to do is start tapping the product and kind of like dispersing it out whatever i have left on the brush that i picked up from the brow bone i'm gonna go ahead and start lining my brow how i want it now i don't really have a technique on how it is that i get the shape that i get i usually try to go with the shape that my brow is i know for some people it may be a little bit difficult but tr if you try maybe mapping out your your brows it could possibly work i've never tried to map out my brows because i know if i map them out they're not if i try to map out my brows i'm just gonna want to start plucking away and that's not good for me so i just like to try my best to follow the brow now with the concealer i do like to kind of swipe it down like blend it down to my eyeball just blend it as much as i can just because it is concealer and it's a lot lighter than my skin tone so I don't want there to be any harsh lines and as you can see with the concealer it's a lot more defined I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side so disperse the product get as close to the hairs as possible and then grab product and go to the front this side dried out so i'm gonna grab some more and i use my finger to blend out the ends try not to get too close to the line that you created and then what i like to do here is connect them just so that i know that they're somewhat even and then when it comes to the top part of my brows I'll just go in with foundation again. You could go back in with concealer. I just don't like how there's like a white cast around my whole brow. That's just me because I got a way lighter concealer than I should have. But if I didn't have such a lighter concealer, I probably would use the concealer over my brow. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some off the lid again, my foundation, and go on the top of my brow. <laughs> And when it comes to the top of my brow, I like to make sure my brows are like straight. So I don't like to like go at an angle too much, like go down. I like to go across just so that they don't look so angry. That was like a really big problem with me back when I was learning how to do eyebrows is that I made my eyebrows look really mad and it was not cute but to each their own if you like that look go ahead and do that but i personally don't like how that looks on me i try to make the tails of my brow as pointy as possible but it, it can be a little bit tricky especially when you're just doing more so of a simple brow so this is what the brows look like again if you have that eyebrow gel i would 100% suggest to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these off again and I'm gonna start with brows number three. Okay so starting with brows number three we're finally gonna add color into the brows. So first things first is I'm gonna go ahead and spoolie again but the product that I love to use and it comes with the spoolie is the Milani easy brow automatic pencil and it looks like this i get it in the color natural taupe which is number three and it's the color i've always used now when it comes to knowing what kind of color uh, for your brows me personally i like to go lighter than my hair color for some reason i look weird with dark brows as it is some girls can pull it off i'm not that girl like i'm not that girl so i do get it in a very much lighter shade and it works for me so with this product what i like to do is of course use the spoolie first and then i'll go in with the color side and then just start at the bottom i like to start where there's a lot of bald spots so for me it's the ends of the tails and more so like towards the front 
I like to give it like a light hand. Don't be too harsh. Do not be too harsh with your products, okay? Build your product. When it comes to filling in my brows, I'm like really messy just because I depend on my concealer and foundation to do the cleaning up. So I can get really messy. And honestly, I think I like that more just because I feel like you can really get a good brow from starting out messy. I don't really like to touch the front of the brow too much just because when I do start to brush it out, it'll start to move, the product will start to move. And so it'll move towards the front of the brow eventually, even though it doesn't look like it. Once you carve out your brow, you'll start to notice it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that e.l.f. concealer again. Put a dot and then go in with my brush again. The thinner the brush, the better. If you're beginning, I would recommend more so of a brush like this that's more of a dome shape. In general, I would probably recommend just using a dome shape brush that's flat just because I feel like it has more of a capability of doing a better job. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up that product that's on my brow bone and start to carve out the brow at the bottom again. And like I said, I like to get as close as possible. Pick up that foundation and just go on the top as well. When you start to add color, you'll start to see the brows come together a lot more. So like here, you see that it's, it's a lot better. On camera, it kind of washes me out. But let me see. And then I'll go back in with the brush and I'll start to fill in any spots I feel need more filling. And like I said, I like to make the tails pretty thin or as pointy as possible. So then that is this brow complete. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow so you guys can get a better picture of what it looks like. He done found me plenty in my life Problem is I meet a girl tonight Then I go and treat her too nice Galleria credit card swipes I don't even know if she a wife But I do know one thing though Women they come they go Saturday through Sunday, Monday Monday through Sunday, yo Maybe I'll love you one day Maybe we'll someday grow Till then I sit my drunk ass on that runway On this one way Two, three, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? So now that we are here with both of them, they don't look too even, but that's where I start to come in and look at them both. It also helps if you look at your brows from afar to know if they're even and just to know if you like them or not. So maybe yeah up close looking at a mirror it looks fine but you always want to make sure that you look you take a step back and look into a bigger mirror just so that everything looks pretty symmetrical and then what i like to do is take a finger and just swipe it down the middle just so that i don't look like i have a unibrow when it comes to the inner portion of my brow i don't like it to look too boxy or anything so what i like to do is just go at an angle and kind of like those corners inward and i'm gonna do that to the top as well just the corners this is how the third brows look and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to brow number four next type of brows is pomade brows the pomade i'm gonna be using is from milani as well i wish this was sponsored by milani because i love I love Milani. This Milani pomade comes with the spoolie and the angle brush. So it's perfect for people who are just getting into brows. I just love Milani in general just because they make it so easy for people to use the product. For example, the pencil brush, it comes with the spoolie and the brush. And then for the pomade, it comes with the pomade and the brush. It's, it's a good deal. This pomade is in the shade natural taupe as well i don't think you can see it but it's in the shade natural taupe 02 what i like to do is just again brush out my brows and then i'll go in with the 
angled side of the brush and I'll dip in to the pomade. I forgot, but give it a little pinch and this will help make your brush be a lot sharper. Where I like to start, I always start about here uh, just because this little bald spot always bothers me. So I like to get that done first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just feather it into my brows wherever I, I need to. If you notice, I don't really like to do the whole lines, like line down, down here, line up here. I like to start by filling in the brow in general, just because the way I want my brows to look, I don't want them to look thicker. And I feel like by making lines and stuff, I'm making them thicker without just working around my natural brow shape. That makes sense. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling in the bald spots which is always the tail of my brows. Little by little, it'll start to build. This product, I love it because it's kind of more on um, the natural-ish side. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in this side as well because we're already here. And I'll start to line the bottom too, just a little bit. Then I'll go in with the spoolie on both sides and kind of brush it out. When you're brushing it out, don't be too harsh because you don't want to like completely disperse the purpose of the product being there, which is to act as like a filler for the hairs. Once that is done, always cover your pomades because a lot of people leave them open and that's what causes them to dry out. If yours happens to dry out, just go ahead and some people put water you could even put setting spray and it should be fine it should reactivate it next i'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer again with the concealers make sure you depending this one though i like to wipe off the excess just because i don't know why this wand just brings out a lot of product and i'm just gonna go ahead and do that to my brow the same process i did with all the other ones just Keep doing that. Another thing, now when I'm putting product on, I like to start a little bit higher than where I actually want the foundation to start carving out my brows just because this is what's going to help not have so much buildup of foundation, like a line of foundation. If you are someone like that, that's like has like that line of foundation what you could do is just go ahead and grab a napkin place it on top of your brow and just give it a nice little press and then just remove it and it should remove a lot of the product it's not going to remove all of it but just enough for it not to look like that and then i just go ahead and blend it out with my fingers i use my fingers a lot to blend out my makeup i'll go back in and Anywhere that I feel does not look filled in enough, I'll go in and do it again. And because I did go in kind of harsh, I'm just gonna go ahead and recarve it out. It's gonna be a lot like that when it's, I start to fill in my brows a lot more darker, just because I do like for it to look a certain way. Now that we are here, I'll just go ahead and give it that little finger down the middle and it should just go ahead and give you more of a shape and with the corners just kind of flick them a little bit nothing too harsh and then these are those brows now obviously they could look a little bit better i'm not gonna lie they could look a little bit better but we gotta move on to the next brows from afar you cannot tell for our last brows my eyebrows feel numb okay no for our last brows it is eyeshadow brow what this means is that i'm gonna be using eyeshadow to 
fill in my brows. And I know it sounds scary because it is. You could easily mess this up, easily. But that's why I'm here, okay? Hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm gonna take my James Charles palette, the palette everyone uses for everything but the eyes. And you know it's true. This is also the palette that I go to when I want to do. If you go back to my videos and you go through, I think it's my baddie makeup, I use this palette for my brows. If you see me wearing like dark, super dark sculpted brows, it's because of this. Colors I'm going to be using are these two right here. So this is the shade T and this is the shade Benny. What you could do is kind of make them into like a wet consistency by spraying them with some setting spray or water, honestly. But I don't think I'm going to do that just because I don't want to take it that far. So I'm going to go ahead and use this angle brush. Just go ahead and grab a spoolie from an old brush that I don't use because I don't have any more product in it. So I just use this one to just brush out the product. Just go ahead and comb these out real quick. I'm going to go ahead and start with the lighter shade first. So the dark brown one is going to be more so for this half of my brow. So the tail. Pick some of that product up. Give it a little blur. And then just start. Like I said, I love to start right here. And this is really going to give you like the most sculpted brow ever. And then when it comes to working with the eyeshadow, because I'm going to be using the same brush for two different types of browns, one being way more darker than the other, I like to do the other brow just so that I already have the lighter brown down. Then... What I like to do is kind of spoolie it out, just to kind of smooth out that crazy color. What I'm going to do now is go in with that dark brown, focus it more on the tail. But again, be very gentle, don't be so harsh. And it's going to look crazy, but trust the process, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and comb it all again, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to carve out. I'm not done with filling it in yet. Maybe I might be done, but this is where I like to just go ahead and go in, dot this and this. Um, you see like right there, I just messed up. I completely went all over my hair. I'm gonna grab the spoolie and kind of brush it out. Just fill this in real quick. Now I'm gonna reattempt. Give this a little pinch. Reattempt this brow again. And it's dried up on me, but it's fine. We'll get back to it. I'm gonna start on this one before it dries up on me. This is what they look like like from the bottom now we got to do the top of the brow again i just use foundation sorry the lighting is a little bit like it's not a little bit it's way off Carve out the top and i still have some excess concealer on that <laughs> and look at that This is definitely the brow you want to wear when you, you want to be that girl. Oh my gosh. Again, finger down the middle. Finger down the middle. Finger down the middle. Then do the edges here. Edges here. Edges here. Edges here. And then I'll go ahead and fill in the tails. I always fill in the tails because I feel like the tails is what really brings in the whole eyebrow. Super pointy. My what? Bada bing, bada boom, it's a world bad when I step in the room. Okay. Yeah. 
you seen it here you seen it here first like i said with any brow look you could put a brow gel i just don't have that disposable to me Spoolie it towards the front to be more of like a gradient more of that ombre brow and there you go your batty brow like what i need to stop those were all of my brow routines obviously it would look a lot better if i had the look together but it's obviously late where did the sun go i don't know thank you guys so much for watching please let me know which brow was your favorite brow i want to also have you guys ask me a bunch of questions down below because i want to do like a q a get ready with me type of video so please leave me questions anything you guys want to know um leave it in the comment section down below and hopefully there's enough questions to do a q a <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe and share this video to your friends if they need help on their brows i'm so sorry this couldn't have been more detailed i just i'm really bad at explaining i'm because i'm just such a visual learner so it's hard for me to explain i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will see you guys on the next one bye